the solution of the given question from LHS, where we have LHS as root under 1 plus sine A all divided by 1 minus sine A. Now, first of all, we rationalize the denominator in this case and write as 1 plus sine A by 1 minus sine A as it is. And rationalization means multiplying by 1 plus sine A on the both numerator and denominator here. So this is what we do in rationalizing the given fraction. Now, as you see, the numerator has 1 plus sine A on both the trigonometric fractions. So we write this as 1 plus sine A whole square whole divided by 1 minus sine A in the first numerator and 1 plus sine A in the second one can be expressed in the formula form that is A minus B, A plus B is equal to A square minus B square. So let's do the same here. So in place of A square, we write 1 square as 1 square is same as 1. So let's write only 1 here minus in place of b square we write sin square a now we begin the other step first writing 1 plus sin a whole square at same let's convert first this 1 minus sin square a as given by 1 minus sine square theta is equal to cos square theta. So we express the denominator in the form of cos as cos square A. So here we see both numerator and denominator has a square. So let's take the power common here. and write our fraction as 1 plus sine A whole divided by cos A whole square. So doing this, we can cancel square root and square. And we can write the above step as 1 plus sine A all divided by cos A. Now in the next step, we separate the denominator and distribute it to both 1 and sine A and, and write that as 1 by cos A plus sine A by cos A. And this is permitted by mathematics. Finally, this 1 by cos A can be expressed in the form sec A. So we write 1 by cos A as sec A plus and sin A by cos A can also be expressed in its formula that is tan A. and which is same as a right hand side of the given question. So here we complete the 
solution of the given question. Thank you for the time to watch the video. Please do share the content and channel if it helped you.